So welcome to this video. Uh, it's going to be a walkthrough of my trials and tribulations with getting Rewire updated so that uh, it doesn't come up with the skull and crossbones when I'm uh, starting up Studio One 5 because uh, I just downloaded the latest one yesterday. That's uh, July, about a week after it came out. And it says, certain points, skull and crossbones read, Rewire too old, 1.8.7 required. And it's like, oh shit! Specifically for me, because I use uh, Notion, and you can link the two using Rewire. So, without further ado, let's see what I did. So, let's follow the instructions and see if we can reset the Rewire. So, what it says, I have to go on a Mac, I have to go to Mac HD Library Application Support, which is... Map, Mac, Library, Application Support. Um, then, uh, um, Propeller Software, Rewire. Okay, 32 and 64, these two, okay, I'm going to drag them here, it's interesting, they're pointing, where are they? Pointing to hmm. What's this thing? Okay. We'll ignore that for the momento. And we'll do the second one, which is HD users. We'll go back. HD. Whoops. Funk users. Uh, look. Application support is not there. Users, username, library. users, ah, username, library, application support, propeller head, and press P, nope, no propeller head, gosh, I've got lots of stuff here, propeller head, uh, rewire, also in there. Drag that into that folder so that they. Yeah. Nope. Where'd they go? They didn't go anywhere. Put them there. Okay. This is just to cover my ass in case it goes wrong. Okay. Done that, got rid of those, and then three launch live. Let's launch live, and that launches on my second screen. Yep, that's, my, that's live nine. And allegedly, it has downloaded the new version, but I don't believe it has. Will automatically re-download the latest version of the Rewire engine. 
Oh, that was very fast. Didn't ask me anything. Hey, but I do see 64 there. Okay, still version 1. 977, and what I was looking for, 187 required. And it's still from 2018. I don't think it's. And the reason why I'm doing this is because when I open Studio 1.5, which will appear shortly, I get a message saying that it's not compatible. And we'll have a look here. It's going through and zipping through my plugins. Ah, rewire support, starting rewire it. Yeah, no problem there. So I think it did it. Yeah, and rewire. That's good. Bloody bloody blah. Do and the test. Okay, and now I'm going to open up Notion, which is starting the audio engine. Yep. So, um, open that up. We okay, yeah, and but it's not playing here. No, they're working independently. So, do I have? Let's see. In preferences, no. Rewire needs to be enabled. I have to. Uh, Okay, I have to start it again. So let's start it again. Quit. And start. Set up an interface, finishing. Okay. Drag over here. Okay. Do sing. It's a bit smaller. Oh, there's nothing there. Let's try uh, detach. Yep. So if I play here, nope. No, I'm not seeing the connection. Hmm. Look for the wire. Wire. My God, if I could spell correctly. Hmm. Okay. Well, I know it's in. Presonus. It was in Presonus. Hmm. I am not seeing it anymore. Is it under W for rewire? Hold on. I am not seeing it at all. Is it an instrument? Hmm. 
Yes, it's an instrument. Notion Ableton Live Waves. Oh my goodness. Well, Notion is what we want. Okay. There it is. Close this down a little bit. Okay, so that is working in both ways. That's what it was. So just to check that it does work with rewire and doesn't work without it. Um, we'll go to Preferences and we will turn off the rewire and we will quit Notion. We will reopen Notion. We'll open Detach. Um, and now it's working independently. Yep, so therefore I have to go back to Notion and turn on Rewire. It will ask for my password. Restart Notion. Good. Yeah, doing all the things it needs to. And from both sides. Yeah. It's playing some piece of crap that I was working, trying out. Good. So that is good. And we're not getting any uh, faulty fault stuff coming up. So I hope that was for useful for you and that you can get rid of the skull and crossbones. Um, against the rewire when it comes up in version 5 of Studio One and that you can actually get your uh, Notion or Live or whatever software you're using uh, to work in combination with Studio One. If you need any more uh, answers or you want some lessons or you've got problems then you can find me at mididoctor.com uh, just send me an email and uh, we can work something out over the internet with the wonders of Zoom and stuff these days. So, um, see you back on another video soon.